Hi, this is Mamta Satona, technical writer for GE Digital. I'm going to walk you through the new features introduced in Simplicity 2022. The last comment and ACK user fields are introduced in AMV control. Also, you can now count alarms based on the resource at which they are generated. Simplicity now supports Python scripting. We have also introduced REST APIs in this release. Expression health behavior with ease configured is modified. Also, you can now assign method results to a variable. We have now introduced a command line parameter slash new. We now support three different help options that is online help, local help, and remote help. Simplicity now supports project level historian connections. Scan rate field is added in CoreLog properties UI. Also, we have enhanced project level security. I will walk you through each of these on a high level. Now, alarm fields are added to AMV control properties. They are ACK user, which displays the user who acknowledges the alarm, and last comment, which displays the last comment entered for the alarm. These fields are unchecked by default. You can check these fields and you can change the position of the fields as required. You can also sort the data based on the acknowledged user and the last comment columns. To create custom button for last comment, you can use the parameter percentile last comment text. And for ACK user, you can use the parameter percentile ACK user. If last comment field is selected, when you add a comment to an alarm, it will get added to the last comment column and it will appear on the grid based on the position that you select. You can also add a comment to multiple alarms at once and it will be displayed in the grid. When you acknowledge an alarm, the user will be added to the ACK user column. You can now counter classify the alarms based on the resource at which they are generated. When you try to create a resource, you can see this checkbox enable alarm counter is added to the resource definition page. This allows you to enable the alarm counters for this resource. This checkbox is disabled by default and it is not available in dynamic mode. When you create a resource with alarm counters enabled, the corresponding counter points are added. You can use these points to display the total alarms, unacknowledged alarms, and unreset alarms. You can also enable the alarm counters for a resource using a script. So I'm creating a script to add the resource. And here, this parameter, enable alarm counters, should be set to true if you want to enable alarm counters for this resource. You can also monitor the alarm counts using the performance monitor. Simplicity Event Manager now supports Python scripts. That is, you can now run a Python script in response to an event. When you select the run script action, you can now add a Python script. It will open Prophecy Code Editor, which you can use to add or edit your Python scripts. You will find the links to detailed videos on Python scripting in the description below. You can now access Simplicity remotely through a web interface using Simplicity REST interfaces. You can get post or delete points, objects, users, roles, SQL connections, historian connections, and also you can start and stop project using these REST APIs. All the project APIs need a session ID. I'm going to demo the security authentication required for using these APIs using Postman. That's the URL you need to use to generate the session ID. In authorization, add basic authentication and then add project credentials. We now got the session ID. Now I will try to read all the points that are available in my project. That is project underscore DB2. 
That's the URL. You must add the session ID that you generated in this header. The key is authorization and then add basic space session ID in the value. Click send. It will retrieve all the points created in the project. Previously, when you created an object that used an expression with is configured function, and if it included points that were not configured, the expression was considered as invalid. Now from 2022, the expression is considered as valid if the syntax is correct, even if the points used in the expression are not configured. For example, here the point is not configured, but the syntax is correct. So when we go to expression view, we can see it is marked in green, which means the expression is valid. You can now assign method result to a variable. That is when you add an OLD control to sim edit and select invoke method as action type. A new checkbox assign result to variable is added in the edit method window. It allows you to assign the value of the method result to a variable. You can use the variable browser to add the required variable to which you want to assign the result. We have now introduced a command line parameter slash new. You can use this parameter to create multiple instances of SimView or SimEdit. This will allow you to configure independent global scripts for each instance. We now support three different help options. During simplicity installation, you can choose from three different help options. If you select online help, the product will be integrated with help that is available online on ge.com. This option is recommended as it saves your time and space. Uh, but you need internet to use this option. If you select local help, the help will be installed on your machine. You can use this option if you do not have internet access. But this option will increase the installation time. You cannot use this option on a viewer machine. You must either select online help or remote help. If you select remote help, the product will be integrated with the help that is available on other Simplicity server. You need intranet connectivity for this option. And you will need to add the details of the server that has help installed on it. If you want to change the help option post installation, you can do that from help tab in Simplicity Options dialog. If you switch from online help to local help post installation, you must install the local help from the installer screen. Note that the local help is now changed to data format, which has a better look and feel compared to previous CHM format. Also, I would like to show you that APIs are now listed under API section in the home page. They have independent search engines and you can click the links and use the search engine that's inside the respective API help. In core log properties, when you open the advanced tab, you can see that a new field called scan rate is added. It is a rate at which you want to scan the status log for the records. The default value is 300 seconds, minimum allowed is 15 seconds, and maximum is 3600 seconds. You can now add project level historian connections in your project. The project level connections are saved in the project, hence, when you move the project to a different node, you do not need to reconfigure the connections. The historian connections tab is added to the project properties window to enable you to add project level historian connections. A project level connection is denoted with P and the computer level connection is denoted with C. From help options, you can only create computer level historian connections. 
so you will not find any checkbox here from expression builder you can add both project level connection and computer level connections from tag browser you can only add computer level connections simplicity supports project level security this enables you to run certain projects and reject certain projects from running on a server to do this open allowprojects.json located in this path if allow all is set to true all the projects on the server are allowed to run this is the default option if you want to allow only certain projects to run you must set allow all to false and specify the allowed projects in the be allowed projects list all other projects on the server will not be allowed to start thank you for watching for more information you can visit our website ge.com/digital also you will find some useful links in the description below